Hey YouTube, I thought I would show you guys this new fan that I just picked up on Amazon. It's a Vornado fan. It's a uh, two-speed fan. It does oscillate. And I bought this for uh, to air and dry out the front of the uh, front of the camper to dry out some of the condensation that uh, builds up uh, in the mornings. And uh, so anyways, a little bit more about this fan. Um, you can see right now it's in its uh, kind of store, stored position. And then uh, it, it flips up like that. It's called a flippy. And this one is, uh, is the V8 model is uh, what it's called. And, it, you know, it, it does basically like a, like a three, 360 degrees. So you can direct the air straight up. Um, it doesn't go past that point. So it's more, more like a 180. And then uh, it goes all the way down like that. And it has two speeds, so this is the first setting. Or no, that would be the that would be the high speed, high speed there, and then the low speed, and then it has a, a little switch over here on the side that, um, if you want to have the oscillating mode on, so you just turn that, and it oscillates. I would say probably about 180 degrees. And so far, I've been really happy with it. I like the compact size of it. And uh, here in a second, I'm going to show you where I put it and then kind of how I direct it. But it's nice being able to have the um, oscillating feature and then also being able to turn it off. So if you just want to direct the airflow into one, um, one particular area and have it constantly blowing. So uh, let me go ahead and show you kind of where I position it. And, um, you know, I let it run typically for for about a couple of hours and then also um, see if I can pull up the uh, the wattage on it as well so this is where I, uh, I position it here in the uh, in the truck camper and uh, you know it's great because I can direct you know the airflow exactly where I want it and uh, so I usually just kind of position it right there and then um, these are the hypervent pads that uh, that I put in at night when I'm sleeping so that the pillows it prevents a little bit of an of a gap between uh, the pillow and the uh, the headboard so I just I just remove those in the morning shift the mattress forward and then um, just direct that airflow all the way across because this is where the condensation builds up you know it's I don't know if you probably cannot see it but it's just right down here in this on this edge all the way along and um, you know the only way that I've been able to uh, get this dried out is to you know is to use the fan and blow dry it in the in the mornings um, I also did try a humidifier and um, I used that for like a couple of days and I was not very happy with the uh, overall re uh, performance of the of the of the dehumidifier so I ended up returning that and it was a fairly large dehumidifier in terms of uh, the square footage that uh, it could dehumid dehumidate the uh, the room, so I wasn't very happy with it. It just was not uh, dealing with the you know the dampness. So I think a lot of it has to do with this climate that I'm in right now. I'm in a very humid uh, climate, you know, and um, you know there's just a lot a lot of moisture uh, problems here, you know, on the coast. And um, you know I think the only way of you know that I've been able to deal with it is uh, you know just that fan right there and, and then also the hypervent too you know it, like I said it creates that gap between the uh, warm and the cold surface that uh, you know you want to keep things away from so uh, I think this is going to be the last uh, update last video that I will do talking about this because I think that I've pretty much solved it uh, for me right now um, you know if you have any other uh, suggestions any other ideas any other comments Please comment below and share them with the rest of us. Until next time, have an awesome day, and thank you for watching, guys.